Google just launched its latest smart speaker and wow, I'm just gonna say it up front, the Nest Audio is a major improvement over the Google Home in terms of sound. So let's dive into what makes the Nest Audio sound so good and then I'll give you my overall first impressions of the device. When I opened up the Nest Audio from its neatly packaged box, I was surprised at how nice it looks in person. It looks like a mini Google Home Max, but slimmer on its sides. The fabric seems to be the same material Google has used on its Nest Mini last year and is made out of 70% recycled plastic. You can get them in various colors like chalk, charcoal, sage, which is a new color for Nest devices and matches the Pixel 5 really well, sand, and then sky. When you first pick it up, it's much heavier than you expect, which is a sign that this thing probably has some solid hardware in it. It's powered by a barrel jack connector, and thankfully Google got rid of that circular one they include with most Nest devices and replaced it with a more square design, which should make it easier to plug into some surge protectors. The touch controls are at the top of the device, volume down is on the top left side, volume up on the right, and then tap in the center once to play and pause media. On the back of the device, there's a two-state mic mute switch which will cut the connection to the mics physically as opposed to just doing it through software like some other companies do. Also, there are now three far-field microphones found with the Nest Audio compared to two microphones found on the original Google Home. Next, let's talk setup. Setting up the Nest Audio is incredibly easy, especially if you already have Google Home devices. It took me about three minutes to go through all of the steps, but if you're new to the Nest product family, it might take you slightly longer to set up things like voice match, calling with a Google Assistant, and connecting the device to your Wi-Fi. If you already have Nest or Google devices in your home, the Nest Audio will use the same settings as your other Google devices, which is why setup is so fast. All right, so sound quality. That's the big topic when it comes to the Nest Audio. Google seriously upgraded the speakers in the Nest Audio compared to the previous Google Home device. The Nest Audio comes with a 75 millimeter woofer and a 19 millimeter tweeter. And I've spent quite a few hours listening to music and podcasts on the Nest Audio and wow, this thing sounds way better than the Google Home. Like they've improved the bass on it. The bass on this is way better than the original Google Home. Now it's not like room pounding bass that you can get with the Google Home Max, for example, but it's still adequate enough and I think it'll be adequate for most people. One thing that's even more apparent when you listen to the Nest Audio compared to the Google Home is how much more detail you pick up in the music. The original Google Home had a more muffled sound to it and the Nest Audio definitely fixes that issue. Part of that is, I think, due to the fact that the Nest Audio is not trying to emit sound for 360 degrees around the device. It is a directional speaker, so you're only going to get sound coming out of the front of it, not from the sides and not from the rear. Another big change with the sound is that it can get much louder than the Google Home without sounding distorted. Even with just one, it can fill my bedroom with some pretty serious sound. And depending on how many of these you get and your room configuration and how you angle them to bounce sound off the walls, you may only need two, maybe three of the Nest Audios to really get that surround sound experience so you feel like you're just enveloped in the media that you're listening to. You also have the ability to stereo pair two Nest Audio speakers together as well. Another area where the Nest Audio shines is multi-room music. As we've demoed before on the channel, moving music in between speakers and speaker groups is quite straightforward with Nest and Google devices. You can tell the Google Assistant to move music from say my bathroom speaker to my bedroom speakers and it'll do it. The Google Assistant is predominantly featured in this device like with all Google speakers and it allows you to do things like play music, set timers, set reminders, ask it for the weather, put something on your calendar, etc. When the assistant has been triggered, you'll see four LEDs light up on the Nest Audio. If you're interested in learning more about what the Google Assistant can do, we did a video on that and I'll link it here in the video as well as in the video description below. Now, if you're looking at getting the Nest Audio or trying to compare it with another Google Assistant speaker, here's a sound comparison between the Nest Audio and a bunch of different Google speakers. <laughs>
So who should get this? I think you'd get a Nest Hub or Nest Hub Max if you want to display things on a screen, but if you just want to use your speaker to listen to primarily music and podcasts, my new default suggestion is to get a Nest Audio. It's going to sound way better than anything other than a Google Home Max, and because of the Max's size, it may not be the right speaker to place everywhere in your home, and it's about $200 more than the Nest Audio. Now, if you're between getting a Google Home Max or getting maybe two, three Nest Audios and are struggling with that decision, here's some advice. I'd say I would probably go for getting multiple Nest Audios just because you're going to be able to angle them and bounce sound off different walls within a space. So it's going to be easier to create that room filling sound effect and feeling like you're surrounded with the music and media that you're playing on the speakers. Now. If you want just the best sound quality possible in a Google Assistant speaker, then I'd still say go for the Google Home Max. You're still gonna get that with the Google Home Max. And if you are a bass fan, like if you just love tons of bass, Google Home Max. So where would I rank the Nest Audio sound? So far in my testing, I'd say that the Nest Audio is the second best sounding smart speaker from Google right behind the Google Home Max. But the Google Home Max still offers superior sound, better separation, more detail, and a deeper, richer, and more powerful bass. But I think at $99, the Nest Audio is a no-brainer for anyone wanting a better sounding Google Assistant smart speaker or an upgrade for their existing Google Home speaker. Now we'll have much more on the Nest Audio in the coming months as we test it out over the long term for a six months later review of the product. So if you want to see that review and other videos on Google products and tech products, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you like this video and found it helpful and informative, make sure you hit that thumbs up button below. And if you have any questions at all on the Nest Audio, make sure you leave them in the comments below as well. Well, that'll do it for me. For six months later, I'm Josh Tedder. Thanks for watching.